for while and wait for you. <laughs> this is a bad area of town. Is it? Yes. How do you know? Just seen some thugs. If we stay here for another hour, from four till six is happy hour. I don't know how they get happy hour. <laughs> <Are you? laughs> yeah, and I've got a lot of dobbin to do on this fella. On who? Darren? You. Why? See you, Darren. Kimmy. See you, Kimmy. Bye. Oh, I don't know where she's going. Yeah, that's all. We've got a heart attack. Bloody everyone knows with you anyway. What is that? What are you, what are you saying? She's well for knowledge, this woman. I am. But as I said, you know, good life is to see if it works, mate. He took off a hundred mile an hour. <laughs> yeah. Chicken deer. We've got the bullets out today. Looks like my house when I was a child. Oh, babe, don't say that. Mm, pretty much. We were poor. We well, had a bed like that. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Hey, babe. Yeah? Ned had it in our fresco area. <laughs> that what? reminds me of you. What? That that thing that goes like that is like a big bag of wind. Fuck, I knew there's a barbecue and everything, mate. Bloody hell. <laughs> we can't the lazy carries on the road to Gunsagai. Is there any reason why she called you Lazy Harry? Yeah. <laughs> You've got to talk to my wife. Yes. Okay, so we're in Albury for the night, aren't we? Like yes. I said before, if you hadn't been watching, we're... Me mate, Diana Madness Adventure. We're going to see him, aren't we? Yep. Hey, me buddy, me brother. This is um, Albury. Well, this is just around the corner from the main street. Is it not, babe? Oh, well, he's not lying this time. But. Albury's a very pretty little town, I think, and it's virtually on the border of Victoria and New South Wales. For all our viewers overseas, yeah? have <laughs> got a few. The border of New South Wales, Victoria, in Australia, in the boat. That's it. So, mm -hmm. where are we going? Yoga and Pilates first up. Right over there. You go over there and I'll go to the pub for a while and wait for you. <laughs> OK? OK. So, we know we've got a club and that down there because we always go down there, don't we, babe? We always do. Because what have they got there? All you can eat, haven't they? A buffet, yeah. A buffet, yes. Yeah. So that's, that's not bad. Well, they used to have. We think they have. We'll go up this way. Look at the beautiful green street, guys. you got to love it, don't you, hey? What do you reckon, babe? Yeah, it's pretty. Hey? It's pretty good, isn't it? What do you reckon? Oh, yeah. What do you I reckon, like babe? those trees. Let's go, babe. That's Lover's Arch. OK. And, and here, the good thing about the footpaths is you can go diagonally if you want, can't you, babe? Have well, a look. We could. I'll show you. See, look. Yes. Oh, yes. You can go diagonally here. I oh, know it's nothing new for you guys that live over here, but for us from Tassie, it's new in the boat. Yeah, we don't have that. No, we don't have that. That's um, fancy pants. Want to hold my hand? It's fancy pants. Want to hold my hand, or I have to find someone else to hold the hand? I told you, you can find someone else. I've already put a call out there on YouTube for them. Oh, that's good. Yeah, mm -hmm. well, save me looking, I Can said. Can I screen them? No, no. no uh, I, I said, save me looking. Uh, you know, idea. just contact me. A lot of nice old buildings here in there, babe. Yeah, well, that one there's the Colonial Mutual Life Insurance. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, do you want to go there? Yes. Why? What are you saying? Just take out some life insurance. Oh, OK. Yeah. On who? You. No, well, that's what's worrying me now. <laughs> You're a badass. Where are you going, babe? Over this side. Oh, you moved on me, sweetie. Get away from you. Yeah, do I stink? No, you don't, actually. I smell nice, don't I? Yeah. Yes. Oh, yeah. This is a bad area of town. 
Is it? Yes. How do you know? Just seen some thugs. Oh, God, a well it did. Mate, he's tattooed all over the place and everything. <laughs> Didn't it, babe, mate? All over his yeah, face. All over his face, yeah. everywhere. Got her going, mate. Yeah. She likes a bit of the bad stuff, don't you, mate? <laughs> That's what you got all rusty, isn't oh, it? I'll, I'll be back in a minute then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's about all it's going to take us a minute, I can tell you that right now. There's a mule. Who are they? Finers. Yeah, look. Up the side street there. Fighters, is their basketball players. Oh. It's Michael Jordan and. Oh, can't think. That's the Lakers and the Bulls. Anyone else know? Just tell me. Sh Without fucking centre point, too posh for Kimmy Russ on it, babe. Oh, hey. yeah. Have Any fancy pants on in that shot? Anything that's got a mire in the same complex is normally too bit dear for us, isn't yes. it, babe? So we're out of there. Yep. Didn't even have the grog we wanted, did they? Nope. Thanks, mate. Thanks. Eatery out here as well. Yeah. Cool. Right. Gonna sit out front? Yep. Do you want little chairs or big chairs? Little? <laughs> yeah. So what did Kimmy get? Well we would never know, would we both? What have you got, sweetie? Uh Corona. Hey Corona. With lime? How come you you gone off cider? Ah, uh, they just don't have my cider here. Uh, Pretty slack at this place. I think it's going to come in and rain a bit. We are at the Bended Elbow in Albury, aren't we? Yeah. It's time. What time is it, mate? It must be three o'clock. Three o'clock. Yeah, it's past stubby time, isn't it? If we stay here for another hour, from four till six is happy hour. I don't know how they get happy hour, but happy two hour. Because. Happy hours for two hours, the time you finish, you're fucking happy. Yeah, true. Yeah. But it's happy two hours, it should call it. I really don't know how she's going to be happy putting up with me, but she's going to be happy, aren't you, babe? It's a worry. Yeah. Right, we're going to have a drink, and then we're going to mosey on and see if we can find some stubby somewhere. What do you reckon? <laughs> we're going to stubby. You're fucking no, greedy. To take back to take back to the motel. Yeah, okay. okay? I thought you were being greedy. Well, I am, yes. I've got you. Everyone else wanted you, but I got you. I was the fucking sucker. I was the sucker. Have a look at the menu. <laughs> yeah. They're lovers' seats, babe. Oh, how cute. Look, lovers' seats down they here in. They are so cute. What's it called? Dean Street Parklet Trial. It's a trial, sweetie. Some what? sort of a trial. So if you come here and sit with old Rusty, come here, babe. Mm -hmm. It's a lovers' seat, you see, babe? Do you love me? Of course I do. You there, guys? You there? It's because I took her on holidays, you see. I didn't choose the other bitch. Don't you give me the finger like that, hey? It's See my nice new shirt. Air, isn't it? Look, it's nice little air, isn't it? Look at that. Look at my new shirt. Rocking it. It's a real yeah, one, this that's one. That's why she's fucking happy. It's a real one. Yes, I guess so. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> Did they fit, babe? Perfect. So you bought some more stuff? Just some jeans from what? some chick. I, I, I can tell you. It's I'll just as you. well. We'll We're show you. Holidays once a year. It's just as well, only once a year, isn't I it? I know. Hey? I know. I'm terrible. Her Can't... bike bag is full now. Imagine what it's going to be like. I'm a terrible Let's shopper. Let's get them in there. We ended up down the commercial club for tea that night. No. No all you can eat anymore. Not on the night we were there. But it was a great meal. Filled us up, ready to hit the road for the next day. Go, go, go. Yeah. Okay, so we're saying goodbye to Albury. We're leaving on a jet plane. <laughs> well no, we're leaving on Harleys, aren't we, sweetie? Oh, this is the only one that goes like a fucking jet. Goes like a fucking tractor. Not a jet babe, a tractor. We're gonna put some fuel in and we're heading down to Melbourne to see Dino Madness Adventures at youtube.com, aren't we babe? Yeah, and I've got a lot of dobbin to do on this fella. On who, Darren? You. Why? Well, you think Darren's gonna listen to you dobbin on me? Men listen to women. Women don't listen to men. Ah. You my big beast. Are you the big bitch? <laughs> that's me. Yeah, that's you. 
That's crossing there, that's in the shade, you can hardly fucking see it. I know. That's not good, is it, coming down there? Crossing's everywhere. Yeah. I suppose I was there when we come in yesterday. We come in there fast and they're fucking hot. We never seen them, did we, babe? No. Well, they didn't paint them overnight. Right. So we're out there, Murphy's. We'll go in here and we'll get us carton. <laughs> we're going to need two putting up with your brother. Oh, now that's not nice. I can show him this video, you know. Really? Is that right? Yes. <laughs> brother won't be happy with you now you've said that. Hopefully. Those clouds over there are going to hold off for us for a fair while at least. What do you reckon? Well, they're looking good so far. Well, we've only just started though, haven't we? I'm not going to complain because we're not at work. No, that is true. Oh, we're in Victoria now. Welcome to Victoria, yes babe, we are. 1.8 kilometres. What's that for, babe? We're in a different state. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool, is it, sweetie? Yep. If you look at all the kilometres we have ridden to get to this state. I went down to the city With a suitcase in my hand Looking for a better deal I'm trying to find myself a plan Roaming around the streets Filling up some useless time if I'd seen her then and there, I would have asked her to be mine. Ooh, something to talk about. Ooh, I wonder if this little town's still here. I think Glen Rowan's still here, sweetie. I have not heard nothing else that it hasn't been here. <laughs> but we're just pulling up to um, a Glen Rowan now. A very famous little town, Glen Rowan, isn't it? Why is it famous? I don't know, babe. Why is it famous? No idea. Maybe because it's Ned Kelly. Ah, I was going to say, people might be able to tell us Australians. It's an old, a very old little town. On the surface, Glen Rowan is a small town now passed by the Hume Highway. In reality, because of the famous events, which occurred in June 1880, where the Kelly gang, with Ned Kelly dressed in his famous armour, were captured in the town after a violent and bloody siege. It has become a magnet for tourists. Today, not surprisingly, it is a popular tourist town built around a single theme, Ned Kelly. All we gotta do is find somewhere solid to park. Do you reckon we should park there or what? Can do. Why? Do you reckon you'll push up? Motorcycles only, so we do, can. Do you reckon you'll push up out of there? No, I'll back it in though. Okay. So this is the Glen Rowan Bakehouse, guys. She's going to back it in. I really don't know how she's going to get that in there, not in that angle. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be difficult. Yes, you um, went the wrong way totally. Right, I'm going to try and see if there's one up here. Well... <laughs> Just wait there, I'll be back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking tell you. See you, Kimmy. See you, Kimmy. Bye. Oh, I don't know where she's going. See you, babe. Bye. It was nice knowing you. You watch, you'll fucking get lost down there. You watch. I've seen Ned. I'll tell you now, if you come back this way and come across the side of the road into me, you'll be able to you'll be able to pull it in there. Yeah. But you come in close to my bike, but you do not hit my bike. Okay, I'll try not to. Come in. Come across the centre here. Yeah, come in. Come in and pull out uh, over there. Okay. Watch that tow bar. Right, out, 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 out. That's it, now back. Now back. We got her over. Swing, devil. swing, swing. Straighten up. Right, straight back. Keep going. Nearly do, aren't I? Well, no, not really, but anyway. Keep going, straight back. Keep going, keep going. That'll do you. Yep, that'll do you, bud. Well, we got that sorted, didn't we? Ned's still there. And Ned's still there. Did you say hello to Ned down there? Yeah. Okay. We're going in for Bricky, guys. We're going this way, then. Are we? Have you, decided, have you made the decision? Yep, yeah, we're going to Bonnie Dern. Yeah. Um, then it goes through to Garrick and Yay. Did you? 
do you need to do this in the way of my brother last night when we were talking about which way we were going? No, no. You did not. So now you're making it sound like it's your official decision. It is. It's my executive decision. Someone that couldn't park their bike out the front there in the yard. So now you're making it look like it's your decision. But it wasn't the fact I couldn't park there. It was I wanted to go up and see Old Ned up the road first. Old Ned first. This is the bakery we're in. And they do do a big brekkie, don't they? But we're not getting the big one today, are we? It's outside, it's overcast. Had a little spot of rain on the way in. So Kim sorted out which way we're going. We'll is, that your, is that your brekkie? What do you got? Um, a bit of everything. Yeah, look at that. Pretty good. Yeah, yeah so you got a heart attack. Oh, bloody yeah, heaven, one day we do anyway. Why is that? What are, you, what are you saying? What are you saying? Don't have to say anything. Watch, watch the news. Okay, so we're in the beautiful town of Glen Rowan, aren't we, bud? Yep. Where are you? Over this side. This is my side. That's your side. Uh, she's fucking finally learnt something on the road. My side town. Yeah. So that there is the Glen Rowan Bakery where we just had that beautiful brekkie. So we're going to go for a walk and have a look around, aren't we, mm -hmm. babe? Ned Kelly's last stand. So if nobody knows about Glen Rowan, it's where Ned Kelly got shot virtually, wasn't it? Yep. Eh? Or captured. Shot and captured, wasn't it? Yep. There he is up there. I thought they said he was dead, babe. Oh, wait till you get up there. He's okay. up there too. Okay. Show runs every half hour, babe, between 10 a.m. and 4 p.m. I don't think it's open though, is it, babe? No, fault with the show. Fault, fault? What sort of fault? I don't know. That's what, just what they said. Ah, okay. So we're not going in there, but there is a Ned Kelly shop up here in there, babe. Place. Yeah. Fault with the show, the actors didn't turn up. It's what, babe? The actors didn't turn up. Didn't they? They never showed up. Nice little town, Glen Rowan, isn't it, sweetie? Yeah. Look, there's Neds everywhere around here, isn't there, babe? Mm -hmm. There's another Ned outside the tea rooms, which they're not open either, sweetie. It's just been sold. Has it? She's well for knowledge, this woman. I am. Isn't she? It's like I've been here before. Yes. Kim was worried about walking up here to the Ned Kelly place, weren't you, babe? Yep. Because it was a bit far from the bakery, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Hey? Bit far. How far is it? 50 metres. Yeah, about 50 metres. Yep. And she was worried. Help. Hey, there's Darren's t shirt. Grumpy old man. Yeah, that's Darren's t shirt. So we're going to go in there in a sec and have a look in there. And there's Ned up there. A big statue of Ned Kelly in a boat. Mm -hmm. It's in just down the bottom end of the town. The Ned Kelly Museum is set out in an easy to follow format with genuine artifacts, articles and original photos from the Kelly era of the early 1840s to the early 1940s. There is an exact replica of the Kelly homestead that was originally located at Greta West with items that belonged to the Kellys and have been donated from the family. They also have the cheeky talking cockatoos, Howard who is 86 and Dorothy who is 39. They sing, talk and dance, but they also bite, so keep your fingers out. The blacksmith workshop runs displays during the cooler months. The gift store offers a large range of Kelly-related souvenirs and giftware. Entry is only $12 for seniors and adults and $2 for children. Memorabilia everywhere in here. She's a ripper, isn't she? Here we go, this one's a bottle opener. Yeah. She's a river, isn't she? Mm, that's cool. Yeah, it is. Dead armour, that's a good replica of what's in the State Victorian Library of Ned's armour. So the gentleman that made it spent a bit of time in there measuring it all up and all you know, the little things they pretty well spot on. So he's done a fantastic job. Cool. Um, just to give people an idea on the size of it and how yep. it was. So, yep. And of course when you make something you um, Try it out, don't you? Yes, yeah, my word. So that's a picture of him up there trying it out. Oh, is it really? So that's the bloke that made it? Yeah, Marty. But as I said, you know, would you like us to see if it works, Marty? He took off an under mile an hour. <laughs> yeah. Chickened out. We've got the bullets at it, yeah. eh? But it, that is a different gauge still, so it's like three mil. But it's just a replica to show people. Yep. 
give them an idea on the size and, cool. and that. So, yeah. so this one wouldn't be as heavy as the original no, no, one? The, no, the original one, <laughs> yep. it just weighed under 45 kilos. Now, Jeez. I'll show you what it was made out of, these plow boards here. Ah, right, so okay. That, yep. that. So we've got two sets of armour made out of the old plow yep. boards. So we've got that one and we've got another one in the blacksmith shop. So right, okay. The one in the blacksmith shop that weighs just under the 45 kilos, the same as Ned. So, yeah. mm. Right. It's getting back to this bit. It's one of those museums, the more you look, the more you'll find. Yeah. Okay? Otherwise, I'll be here for weeks. <laughs> but to give you a rough idea, the storyline starts from here. It yep. goes around clockwise around. You see the little arrows? Just follow them yep. all the way around. Right. In this building here. So in here and out the back's all class as a museum. Right, okay. As I said, the more you look, the more you find. Yep. Okay. Marvellous. So make sure you have a good look at things because yep. you'll be surprised what's laying on the shelves and that. So yeah. Then once you're finishing here, head on out through the back door. And that's a replica of the homestead, so it's built with the yep. same measurements yep. as it was back yep. in the day. Wow. Yep. So as I said, a lot of the stuff in there is actually Kelly related. Right. And the Quins, yep. which was Ned's grandparents. Yep. So out through the back door to your left, then we're gonna walk through Blacksmith Shop. Yep. You'll see a lot of the old tools that were used back in the day. Yep. Which we're gonna be up and running Saturday. Oh right, okay. The Blacksmith show just to show people oh, cool. how it was done. Yep. So yeah, yep. so looking forward to it. Nice. And then to the right, well that's another story. <laughs> Two cheeky cockies out there. Oh, they're uh, still yeah, there. The old house we were coming here years ago and they yeah, yeah, yeah. they were swearing, weren't they? Mm. Oh, yeah. Forever <laughs> get me in trouble. <laughs> I'm surprised they're still there. The same ones, probably. Oh, yeah, no, they love that. They're better than me. <laughs> uh, so, they uh, live to about 120, yeah. but they're going to live to their 200. <laughs> so just, just to annoy you. Yeah. Just to annoy me, yeah. yeah. But um, it is Russian roulette for the fingers. Yeah. And, um, yeah. We haven't got many to lose, so oh, it doesn't they, matter. You've been here before. <laughs> oh, you have been here before. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, so Russian roulette with the, the fingers mm -hmm. and any loose clothing, just be careful because yep. he likes to grab souvenirs. Right, okay. Oh, so right. I had two weeks ago I had a 20 minute siege with him over a lady's scarf. Oh. <laughs> okay, Interesting. thanks very much. Good Thank on you. you. Thanks. thanks. So, as you heard, the museum of a Ned Kelly. Lots of artefacts from the days gone by. What about? I was just wondering what the point in this thing is because it's not sharp. They used to scrape the logs, the bark, and then off oh. and shape things with it. Yeah, right. Yeah. It's very well set out, old style, isn't it, though? Mm -hmm. There's old Ned there. a nice big solid door that one babe. Mm. Oh there's, there's a kitty cat. Oh look at him. Hello. That's Ned's cat babe. Ned's cat. He babe. never grew. Go in there sweetie. Oh, Go in noisy. there. Go in there. What? Oh they've stopped it so you can't lock people in. Uh -huh, so yeah. on, yeah. You're right there babe. You in jail. Good old Ned over here with me. He is so cute. He's mm. a pretty little cat, isn't he? Aww. I do like a bit of pussy. <laughs> he is so cute, isn't you? Right, so yeah. this here yeah. is apparently mm. an, exa an exact replica of Ned Kelly Homestead. The Kelly Homestead, isn't it, babe? Yep. So we got told. Come here. Pretty good. The last stand took place in June 1880. So apparently this is set out the same way as what his homestead was set out, isn't it, Bob? Yep. So they say. With the rat on the rafter. <laughs> Newspaper on the walls, babe? Mm -hmm. for, for wallpaper. Looks like my house when I was a child. Oh, babe, don't say that. Mm, pretty much. Don't say that, sweetie. Well, the old beds, look at them. I had a bed like that. you that old? Mm-hmm. Oh, God, hell. We were poor. Well, you had a bed like that? Mm-hmm. Oh, OK. What, see? You're trying to get people to feel sorry for you now. With the handcuffs on the... Floor? That's your bed now with the handcuffs on the <laughs> bed, babe. Oh, Jesus. She's got to tell all secrets, doesn't she?
Hey, babe. Yeah? Ned had it in our fresco area. <laughs> Look, Ned had it in our fresco area. Did too. Well, I'll be damned, eh? Did too. That's mm. the, he had an extended family. He did he? The building though looks really good, doesn't it? Looks like something back in the day, doesn't it? Yeah. Man, it looks really good. Well worth seeing, guys. Well, this is the uh, machinery. Apparently on Saturday, they've got a blacksmith thing here, haven't they? Yes. Show thing. And they're real excited about it. So this is where the black show, smith show thing's going to be, I think. Cool. So this is where Ned Gurley's armour would have been made, wouldn't it? Well, not exactly this spot, but in one exactly like this at the back of his house and everything. Yeah. Of the residence, the Kelly residence. Which, was, which is not there now, isn't it? No, no, it's no. not. Ha! Huh, that what? reminds me of you. What? That that thing that goes like that, it's like a big bag of wind. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. they're called bellows. Yes. Yes. Not portobello. And you're always bellowing at me, no, aren't you? that's you, yes. matey. Fucking need a barbecue and everything, mate. Bloody own. Look, river eater. And power. Oh, man. Fucking power. Ned had the works, didn't he, eh? He must have been rich. He was richer than you. Running water. We're just being silly now, aren't we? Hello, Goggy. Hello. What are you doing? Hello. How are you? I heard you pinch someone's scarf the other day. Hello. One of yous. Hello. Hello. Maybe it was this one. He looks evil. Hello. Hello. What's your name? Hello. Hello, Cocky. Oh, Howard and Dorothy. I've got Kimmy sorted now. Can't get out. Know, okay. Can't get out. You are used to whips and chains, though, aren't you, sweetie? Can you hold that while I get out? No, nah, yeah, OK. I'll hold, 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 hold. I'll hold that one yep. while you get out. There you yep. go. Thanks. Are you out? Yeah, I'm out. OK, cool. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Lazy Harry. Cool. Wait a minute. That's I've got right. some change here somewhere, but oh, not much. Not much, but... Not much, but it's oh, something. Yeah. We've got a Goldie there. <laughs> Do you want to be in it? Sorry? In the picture. Come on. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, she could probably sing with you. Sing your dad, Yeah. <laughs> we can't the lazy Harry's on the road to Gundagai. The road to Gundagai. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, disco. <laughs> Thank you very well. much. So that's Lazy Harry, his wife that made that years ago. A real Australian in boat. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why songs. his wonder why his wife called him Lazy Harry though. We best ask him that. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah. Is there any reason why she called you Lazy Harry? Because it's written on his shirt. You've got yeah. to talk, <laughs> you've got to, talk to my wife. Yes. Right. Well, it's got her thinking now, why was he called Lazy yeah. Harry? <laughs> 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 There's nothing wrong with that. I a little while ago. Ah, uh, that's oh, fair well. enough. Yeah. Hey, then, have fun. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Right. So, it wasn't that very, it, that was very interesting, wasn't it, sweetie? Yeah. Hey. Lozy Harrod's a cool dude. Very Australian. So, here we go. The original story of Ned Kelly, written and sung by Lazy Harry. This is what you'll hear when you go inside. That's Lazy Harry. And there's the other lazy, we'll just call him lazy bastard. <laughs> What's in the shitter, babe? What's in the shitter? Where? Here. Oh. What's in the shitter? Oh, a, sp a red back spider. Red back <gasps> Look at the one on the door. Oh, She's a river, isn't she? Dear. Yeah. That'd scare. Okay, so that was Glen Rowan and Ned Kelly, wasn't it, babe? Yeah. And look at the skies. We're about to hit the road again. A bit of blue in the skies and it's warming up, isn't it? Yeah, it's hot. Yeah, so we're going to hit the road and head on to Mount Evelyn. That's it. We'll catch you on the road, guys. Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel the wind blow. And the late summer sky is like a 